a, was an important first step meeting on tackling poverty. This was held on October 3rd over at um, Dumbo. And I was invited to that. Um, it's held, uh, by, it, was, it was sponsored by the Institute for Children, Poverty and Homelessness. And that's uh, headed by Ralph De Costa Nunez, the president of that. He's been a long time uh, advocate for uh, against poverty, um, many, many years. And there were several panelists who spoke on the issue of poverty. Uh, U.S. Attorney, Western District, Pennsylvania, David Hickton, Emory Aronson, Managing Director of Education and the Robin Hood Foundation, Stephen Broomberg, Professor of Education at Brooklyn College, Mark Winston Griffith, Executive Director of Brooklyn Movement Center, and moderator was Jeff Decker, he's the editor of Gotham Schools. Uh, there was also a couple of uh, local elected officials that uh, were supportive, Councilwoman Gail Brewer, um, and uh, I would say that the importance of this was reflected in the fact that um, it's, a, it's a subject that needs to be discussed in all communities at this time. And it, it's not a subject that can only or should only be discussed by the poor or the advocates for the poor, but by everyone. If we're going to look at and that's what was interesting about this meeting, that this was something that is being now discussed by a wider circle of uh, people involved in the issue of, of poverty um, in local communities. And I think that um, if we're going to look for moving toward, at least making the attempt to move forward toward a more balanced understanding of, of communities, then the issue of poverty has to be discussed, has to be brought into the, uh, into, into the um, mix. Um, not only in terms of resources, not only in terms of what uh, the elected officials can do, but how does this reflect on, on our community. So, although I thought that this was a good first step, this, this, this um, panel discussion on tackling poverty, Got away with words. Uh, they barely really just started to scratch the surface for all practical purposes. This is just beginning to delve in the issue. Um, mostly they focused on the importance of, uh, I think there was a consensus that education was key to tackling poverty overall. But that is a very broad term and how you go about implementing education and all the other factors that go into uh, what we do with our youth and, and, and family issues related to that um, it requires a much more in-depth discussion than this one. But it's a good first attempt. It was important that it was it was um, it was addressed at this time. I think one of some of the things that came out of that meeting was that, um, for instance, although um, nat nationally poverty makes up about 16 percent of the population, citywide here 20 percent. Brooklyn, 24%. So Brooklyn has some issues on poverty that need to be looked at very thoroughly. We have problems. Um, three out of four families of students going to schools uh, have to apply for lunches because they can't afford, their families can't afford lunches for them in school here in the city. Seventy percent of the homeless families that we are faced with are, are families with children, homeless population. Seventy percent of our families with children. So if, when we look at poverty, it begins to spread uh, throughout the community, throughout is the diverse aspects of the community, not just among the poor. We don't. We have a tendency to say poor is this, and this is not poor. The issue really revolves around all of us. And it needs to be addressed not by one group, but by all, because it's going to impact all of us. And I think this was a good first step in that direction. Maybe in the future we will begin to see some of those types of uh, panels and discussions and uh, in, our, in our community as well here in Greenpoint. So I thought it was important that uh, I was able to look, uh, see that and, and get some ideas from that. Uh, and that was, uh, that's my report for today.